Hi guys! In this video, we are going to check out 10 best things to do in Washington, D.C. The capital of the United States has vast landscaped areas and neoclassical monuments. Discover what makes this global superpower tick in Washington, D.C., where you can go beneath its skin, meet its heroes, and learn about government. There are first-class museums in multiple fields of art, science, history, as well as natural history and Smithsonian museums. Here are some of the best things to explore in Washington, D.C. If you like our content, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for our next videos. Washington National Cathedral As the resting place of Woodrow Wilson and Helen Keller, Washington National Cathedral was constructed in 1907, when its foundation stone was laid in the presence of Theodore Roosevelt, using the same mallet that George Washington used to lay the cornerstone for the Capitol. The construction wasn't officially completed until George H. W. Bush witnessed the installation of the final finial in 1990. This is the second largest church in the United States, designed in a neo-Gothic style inspired by English decorated Gothic architecture from the 14th century. The Bishop's Garden is located outside the cathedral's flying buttress while the facade of the building contains 112 gargoyles and grotesques. You can also find a gargoyle that looks like Darth Vader and another that looks like a hippie. The cathedral has more than 200 stained glass windows, one of which contains a fragment of lunar rock. Arlington National Cemetery the most highly regarded cemetery in the United States is located across the Potomac and in Arlington County, Virginia. There are nearly 400,000 graves in Arlington National Cemetery, covering over 624 acres. During the Civil War, it was built in 1864 on the rolling green grounds of an estate once owned by Mary Anna Custis Lee, the wife of Robert Lee. In this cemetery lie John F. Kennedy, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, and John Glenn, the first American to orbit the Earth. A row of headstones in white marble is visible from the distance, belonging to soldiers who died in the line of duty or to veterans of distinction. A breathtaking view of Washington is provided by the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, completed in 1932, and the resting place of unidentified personnel from every major conflict of the 20th century. National Museum of Natural History As one of the 10 most visited museums in the world, the National Museum of Natural History is the size of 20 soccer fields, featuring 22 galleries and maintaining a collection of more than 130 million specimens. Here are a few places you must see if that sounds overwhelming. There is no way to beat the Hope Diamond in the Janet Annenberg Hooker Hall of Geology, Gems and Minerals. In the National Fossil Hall, you will find more than 700 fossil specimens, illustrating the 3.7 billion year history of life on Earth, led by the Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. United States Botanic Garden the lush botanical garden on the southwest grounds of the capital was established in 1820, making it the oldest continuously operating botanical garden in the country. There are 10,000 living specimens at the museum, and some 170 years old, while the Lord and Burnham Greenhouse was built in 1933. The exhibit includes desert, medicinal, jungle, rare and endangered plants, orchids, as well as Hawaiian plants. Bartholdi Park is located on the other side of Independence Avenue, where a cast iron fountain was designed by Frederick August Bartholdi, who also designed the Statue of Liberty.
the White House. In the downtown area of the National Mall, north of the Ellipse, is the presidential residence and workplace. The neoclassical style structure was designed by Irish architect James Hoban and finished in 1800. Although a near-complete reconstruction was required after, it was set afire by the British during the War of 1812. The White House cannot simply be walked into. To schedule a tour, you have to ask your Congress member, or if you are visiting from abroad, contact your embassy in Washington. In addition, you must apply within 90 days of your visit, giving yourself more than 21 days. Every step of the way, Secret Service members will be on hand to answer any questions. Jefferson Memorial Beautiful replicas of Rome's Pantheon pay respect to the nation's third president, key member of the Founding Fathers, and primary author of the Declaration of Independence. This memorial sits on the south shore of the Tidal Basin and has a lot of similarities to Jefferson's Menticello Plantation in Virginia, a building he designed himself. Jefferson is flanked by the other signatories of the Declaration of Independence in the pediment, while within stands a statue of Jefferson by Rudolph Evans, measuring 5.8 meters high. The frieze beneath the dome states, I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Jefferson was one of Franklin D. Roosevelt's greatest admirers, and he spearheaded the memorial project that was completed by 1947. Washington Monument Halfway along the National Mall stands an obelisk, commemorating the first U.S. President, as well as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. In just under 170 meters, this is by far the tallest predominantly stone structure and was briefly the tallest construction of any kind until the Eiffel Tower was completed. Washington Monument construction started in 1848, but the Civil War halted work and finishing touches weren't made until 1888. It's easy to notice that the upper two-thirds of the monument are marked by a change in stone shade, as the marble was quarried from a different source. Lincoln Memorial Savior of the Union is the monument standing at the western bookend of the National Mall. Lincoln Memorial was built between 1914 and 1922 in the style of a Doric temple and features a reflector pool over a quarter mile long. It is best to approach from the east in order to appreciate the full grandeur of the reflecting pool and memorial building. The frieze above the stairs is also full of symbolism. Each of the 36 columns represents one of the states when Abraham Lincoln was president, and their names are carved in the columns. Three chambers lie inside, the center of which houses the famous 170-ton statue of Lincoln made up of 28 blocks of white Georgia marble. National Mall As a national park with park rangers on hand, the National Mall is a sprawling landscaped park with world-famous landmarks, museums of the highest quality, and monuments to historical figures and events. It extends 310 acres from the Lincoln Memorial to the Capitol Steps, starting at the Potomac and continuing east for under two miles. The Washington Monument and Smithsonian Museums line the north and south sides of the National Mall, you can find moments of pure wonder, reverence, and quiet reflection here. There is so much more to the National Mall than several monuments, and it remains a vital and dynamic space where events and protests take place. United States Capitol Building Capitol Hill is crowned by a symbol of democracy on a perfect axis with dozens of monuments on the National Mall. 
The Capitol Building is the home of the Senate and the House of Representatives, as well as the Legislature of the United States. For many years, it was also home to the Library of Congress and the Supreme Court. Originally built in 1800 and inspired by the Paris Pantheon and the east front of the Louvre, the Capitol was given a 55-meter-high dome in the 1850s and 1960s. One of Washington's must-do is to take a 60-minute tour of the Capitol. There are 100 statues at the National Statuary Hall, two from each state. If you visit in autumn or winter, you might get a chance to see the old Supreme Court chamber, which has been restored to its mid-19th century form. If you like our content, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for our next videos.